Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general of reading for my friends Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out together what's coming through for you, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Lovarina. Let's see what we can get for you guys. We get separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. And bottom of the deck we have engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Let's also pull some cards from this oracle deck. We get compassion and bottom of the deck, signs and reminders, kind of going with the signs and synchronicities concept. Let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies. And we are ready. Three cards, absolutely. So your energies, guys, the chariot. Ten of pentacles, king of pentacles, your person's energies, two of wands, seven of wands, high priestess, meeting energies, the hermit, four of pentacles, two of swords, focus, Queen of Wands, bottom of the deck we have the Eight of Cups, leaving behind something because it was not possible to fulfill heart and soul and so this man is willing to go all out on an adventure, pursuing the Nine and Ten of Cups in a different scenario. The Moon in the background grants the proper depth to the evaluation. It can be, it can be an introspection. This Queen of Wands can be someone outside of a connection. And bottom of the Eight of Cups we have the Ace of Wands, which can be a matter of passion. This is the person that is facing a choice between two persons. The point is that this individual can be involved in a committed connection relationship with some of you guys and there is someone outside of the connection that can be a temptation and we are going to see about the Seven of Wands the Two of Wands is a soulful decision, it's a choice. We have also a Two of Swords energy in the meeting. You were seeing and it is fair to say that you still see potential in your connection and the opportunity to move forward successfully. This person needs to take a moment, High Priestess, they need to take a moment in order to think things straight, especially if the level of commitment involved is high. Because the Four of Pentacles can be another closed off approach but we need to figure out towards what these energies, Seven of Wands, Four of Pentacles, are directed. The Hermit can be an energy that speaks to the two of you. 
but we have a major crossroads and bottom of the ace of wands guys we have the uh, tower and bottom of the tower we have the nine of pentacles energy bottom of the nine of pentacles the strand card let's find out a little bit more because uh, we are looking at a uh, a major crossroads that can see involved the engagement ring type of energy and the separation one so uh, let's go for the queen of wands in the focus because i am curious about the energy knight of pentacles this is interesting because this can be someone that is standing still in their position but they know that they have found a way to bring a doubt in the mind of a person and it's this person so guys let's see let's start with your person let's see the uh, Let's see the energies. Let's follow the order. Two of Wands, Six of Wands, Victory, Triumph, Success, the Warrior coming back from the battle victorious. But where is the victory for this person? Seven of Wands, Three of Cups, my goodness. Three persons. What about the High Priestess? Two of Pentacles, a juggling act, another two. At some point, the loop needs to be broken because we have rough waters behind the man. This situation can be ongoing for quite some time because for me the Two of Pentacles is unfolding let's see for you guys let's start with the um, point of view of the king of pentacles ten of wands there is a disappointment we are powering through but the disappointment is about the commitment basically what you were considering as rock solid let's see well let's move backwards let's uh, go to the ten of pentacles king of pentacles yes um, recurrent energy basically it's the energy of what you are sharing with your partner what you are still sharing because the situation is still unfolding itself let's see the chariot eight of wands we need to talk in order to figure out if we can be successful together moving forward but there is a choice there is a choice let's see the meeting guys Hermit, Empress, healthy growth, but also an evaluation about an opportunity that should allow two persons to move towards a fulfillment because we can achieve the highest potential of a connection if we fall for a third party scenario there cannot be the highest potential for the connection this is kind of the the point let's see the four of pentacles ward major arcana the man in the two of wands is holding the ward so the one that is closed off is the one that will make the choice let's see the two of swords eight 
Eight of Cups. Leaving something behind. And uh, bottom of the deck we have the Two of Cups. And the man in the Eight of Cups is going for the Nine and Ten, as I was saying. So he's going for the for a different Two of Cups energy. If some of you resonate and you have noticed something about the behavior of your partner, the signs and reminders, guys, is an energy about realizing that something is brewing because of the behaviors of the other person, because they are quiet, because they are elusive. So, the Ace of Wands can be related to the third person. The tower can be the crumbling down of this situation. The Nine of Pentacles, the outcome for some of you and the strength card the type of energy about powering through this person basically um, was distracted by someone outside uh, of the connection Guys, it can even be an affair. Let's see some more oracle cards for guidance considering these energies. Compromise. The only way to compromise in a situation like this one is that this person leaves behind the third person. It's the only way. It's the only way. Otherwise, otherwise, um, the Eight of Cups kicks in. Improving health. Well, the situation is overwhelming because of the Ten of Wands. Um, it is also fair to say that you have a voice, you know, in a situation like this one. The energies are kind of telling us that the choice is on this side, but it is also understandable that if you are aware that there is someone else you can you can present an out out what are we going to do this is not a game basically and so it's up to you makes even more sense there can be a wait guys it can also be about the person outside waiting knight of pentacles standing still and the recovery also bottom of uh, weight um, of the weight oracle card um, the person outside knows that they have managed to bring a doubt within the mind of this person basically and this can make all the difference this is the point this individual has a big choice you can kinda bring them to the final decision by talking by addressing the situation and then there is the turning point this eight of cups is lingering because of these energies basically spark of passion crumbling down of something single status powering through This is a choice between two different Two of Cups. And bottom we have the Page of Swords. Challenging situation, to be honest, guys. I hope that I made myself clear and this can be helpful somehow, some way for some of you. Let us know if you resonate. Comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.